Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fashionation. <laughs> oh, I know I haven't been on in a few days. I've been down all sniffly and everything. But I'll be alright. Everything's gonna be alright. So, uh, I cannot wait to shoplift fabric more again, but we'll get into that after a while. So, I'm going to look and see if they are on Instagram, which I'm pretty sure that they are, because once you join Instagram and you join a specific group on Instagram, let's say like the hashtag history boundary, um, you know, you join that group, and that's how the whole group gets to see your picture. Is that Boondaba? That's Boondaba. That is wonderful. So, that's how that works. And let's see if I can find I have them on one other social media. But I'm just going to say that. Nope, on the right. Let's see. Oh my gosh, we don't even have them on my Instagram. I do have them on my other social media, and they asked for my YouTube link, which is lovely. Because I love anybody that comes from any sewing channel. Just so you know, just so you know, there's all sorts of channels that are using Fabric Mart, and I think that's wonderful. Um, you know, extending out there and getting out the good word. And I will leave a link to how quick did I start feeling better. It's called Healing Soup. And I will leave the link to my healing suit below. Because around cold and flu season, no one needs to be getting sick. Um, you now, I would like to try to find the Virginia's best burn meal. I, you're not going to find that where I live. Um, and apparently, the flower has to be the same brand. Uh, so, I have to find those because on... It's my studio. Excuse me. While I'm over here talking to you, I can be over here on my other device. Um, I'm cooking with Brenda. But you should check out their channel. You know, they're really cool people. David Hall it was originally his channel, but he decided to share it with his wife. And um, Brenda. And she does some cooking. They're not on all the time. But, uh, well, they're on enough. They have enough people. But, um, anyway, I'm sweating out. And that's the other thing, is if you get sick, sweat it out. Sweat it out. That's how you get the illness out of your body. Sweat it. Sweat it out. You sweat a fever. You sweat a cold. Sweat the flu out. We know how nasty the flu can get. <laughs> so you you have to sweat these things out of your body and let me tell you something this fabric right here keeping me so cozy and warm um is helping me 
sweat out the illness. You have that comfy, cozy blanket. Use it when you don't feel well. And it should help you sweat it out. Now, I do have something that I want to do for a long time. Person to my channel, because everybody knows I'm going to say Beth Raz. Um, <laughs> with some um, fabrics that I have that I was thinking about making you like, a little square pillow thing with the little limbs on it um, out of my leftover fabrics from what I call my circus pants. I am going to finish those pants today and see if I feel okay enough to be in, you know, in standing position in front of the camera. I've been coughing and sneezing so much. My clothes are bigger. Because <laughs> when you cough and sneeze so much, you're pulling your ab muscles when you do that. Yes, it does hurt. You're actually restricting those muscles inward. And when you're done coughing, you slowly release to try to relax until you're at that coughing. See, yeah. Eh. Now, I wouldn't have been able to do this video today if it wasn't, you know, if it was a couple of days ago. Where then I did my own uh, egg drop soup for a healing soup. That's a whole different healing soup. <laughs> Um, it does have a lot of the same ingredients, except for it didn't have the um, horseradish in it, which I love putting horseradish in my healing soup. It's a key ingredient for killing off airborne bacteria and balsamic vinegar will kill an airborne bacteria during cold and flu season. So it's like keep your ingredients handy, like your balsamic vinegar. Um, I've been like, I will use only specific meats. If you're vegetarian or vegan, you don't have to add meat to that. You can absolutely use your substitute meat which is not meat, it's bean. Um, it's made out of bean sprout, which is what tofu is. Um, I know, I used to use that stuff for a vegetarian and made it taste like meat for him. He's like, you have to try this. This is what meat tastes like. So I tried a bit, pretty much. Um, <laughs> And I didn't put any fat down in the pan when I cooked his food for him. But uh, then I would teach him how to make soup. And his parents from India were actually very surprised that their son knew how to make a food. <laughs> he had no cooking skill. Um, <laughs> it was bland. Uh, his cooking skills were bland, but I, I taught him, look, this is how you add your flavor. I taught him the steps of how to add your flavor into your food. Um, and you definitely don't have to have salt. I don't cook with salt. I don't think you need the salt. Your heart what's your uh, blood vein, you know, what's your, your body saying? You, this stuff has to go through your vein, your arteries, your main arteries. You, you don't need to clog our arteries. That's like clogging the engine on a car. So it's clogged. You have to take it to the technician to get that flushed. Most of the time it's very costly, very timely, and, and, it might cause more harm than good. 
because you have to repeat the cycle over and over again if you don't correct your habits of eating. Um, like, I'll do a food review from time to time on something. Like, you'll see me with the corn chip. Like, the blue corn chips. Um, no, if I could find a blue corn meal, heck, I'll be making my own blue corn tortilla. <laughs> I have no problem. I just have to find it. I think I know where I can get it, but I have to go back into Pennsylvania just to get it. And, um, I didn't try. I didn't have my buddy R Rocco from Roaming with Rocco. Which I'll leave the link to his newer video. He actually did a video recently. Wow, it's been a while. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was struck with him. Oh yeah, a channel that did come back. Beauty and the Diabetic. She came back. Yay, been wondering. I'll leave the link for her. She has come back to our community. So I'm glad she's back. Oh. So it's like you have certain people on YouTube that you actually don't want to have leave YouTube because you you like their content. You don't want them to leave. Um, and I'm really hoping that Queen of Crazies is okay. I haven't heard from her. And I'm really worried. Let me do something. Okay, had to do a private message. She uh, ain't a crazy. Just checking on her. See, it's like, um, Mona G. She used to be on YouTube. She had to leave because of her health. Um, I don't see Rindy Ray on anymore, um, but then again, Rindy's looking at me. <laughs> no, I do get the chance to watch Morgan Dahmer. I speak about her while she's really good. Oh, there we go. See? I don't want to hear nobody's crap. On the, I do not want to hear you crap. Oh, you can't do that. I do not want to hear your crap. You know why? This is from the history bounding. And if you were trying to get into my stuff privately, that's on you. Whoops. I'm not stupid. I passed aerospace engineering for a reason. Just because I'm poor doesn't mean I'm dumb. Da, da, da. <laughs> Does not mean I'm dumb. Um, are you kidding me? You want to talk about intellectual reading of books? <clears throat> Let's get into this. How about reading Albert Einstein and Nikolai Tesla? Because that is what I read as a kid. And I still love reading their books of their work to this day. How, how do you think we have... Uh, Nikolai Tesla, the light bulb, Nikolai Tesla. 
who would not have a lot of things out here without Nikola and Tesla, including uh, the Tesla. Think about that. So anyway, that's from hashtag history mailing that I just showed you, which is a group that I uh, joined into on my Instagram. So I'm actually really pleased to see what somebody had on. I think that's an awesome idea. I think that's an awesome idea. Let's see, when you're joined to a hashtag group on Instagram, we're just having a little chit chat here. It's not just whatever to a specific subject. Um, but once you're joined to a group, they can see what you have, even if your account is set to private. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to see their stuff. Oh, crap. Um, yeah. Just saying. I used to build long wave radios out of short wave radios when I was eight years old. I'm not stupid. Other they have about this later. Somebody else's channel. They weren't trying to imply my name, but I know who it was focused on. Um The reason I didn't join the other group is because I was told by some of their people what I was making isn't what was told to be made. First of all, this is a kimono. This is a kimono. I made a kimono as my robe. Technically, a, this style of robe Kimono robe is a traditional Chinese and Japanese style kimono. Most people call it a kimono, but it's a kimono. Um, yeah, think about that. So, uh, like I said, when you actually join a group on your Instagram, your pictures are automatically seen by all the other people. Really? Really? Because I said it was a custom clothing designer, you probably thought I was the low end of it. I was actually the head custom clothing designer. Uh, oops. I even answered my phone and scheduled my meeting. So, now that you know that, um, that's how that really works. How that really works. Sorry. Uh, anyway, <laughs> sometimes people really need to be educated on stuff. Like, I know people. Some people don't like it when I say don't be stuck on stupid. Just don't be stuck on stupid. I can show you a fact. <coughs> a fact. Fact is, once you join that group, everybody sees your pictures. How about that? 
that's why you don't get a person's email. Oh crap. Do I give my email out? No, back I don't. Just give it out like that. Now there may be a few other fellow YouTube creators that have it. Say who he is. Anyway, so on the more positive notes here, well, not trying to be not positive. Um, I will be trying to finish those pants. I've been trying to rest my body so that I don't, you know hurt my body that makes any sense to you hope it does um and really when you're sick you're not supposed to drink caffeine so always lay low on caffeine drinks and the dairy because that creates a lot of build up in the lungs uh, now, if I did have a sponsorship by somebody, like I said in the other video when I was cleaning out my hair and I still need to, like, I know it looks a little darker, but I, I did not get to color my hair yet um, from what my epilepsy meds do to my hair is um, Or eucalyptus spearmint. You know, in November, I will be. That's my birthday month. Uh, I will be shopping with specific people. Um. Oh yeah, let me drop a link for those people. One will be Jeffrey Star. One will be Sin City Soaps. They're right here on YouTube. But they have a way for you to purchase from them. They also have social media. So that you can go onto their social media and purchase from them. Um, which is wonderful. I'm glad that they do. You know what? Let me see about putting them on my Instagram. I think they should have them. Oh, yeah, there's what they made today. Yes, that's how I know this is them. Instagram, they're on Facebook. I'm pretty sure that they're on Twitter. Let me check. Uh, yeah, let's see if they're on Twitter. Let's see if they're on Twitter. Sorry, this page does not exist. Okay, so they're not there. They're not a Twitter. Um, actually, I'm a huge fan of Twitter. I mean, I have 
but, but not a huge fan of it unless I have to use it for something. Say, like, during my home EEG, then, um, then I wanted to prep myself for, like, the 24 hours and have my salads from Wawa. Um, the, there was so much not edible leafage pieces in there that I had to use Twitter to get a hold of their corporate and have a little chat with them, show them the pictures of the food. It, no. Break it up like two different salads and they were both cooked. So that was a waste of my money. Um, like nobody wants gross food. I can say, however, the Wawa Pumpkin Spice Coffee, oh my god, which by the way, you can order that online. Do I do that with my personal stuff? No. How do you avoid using your bank card online? The smartest freaking thing you can do is put that on a gift card. Save your bank account. Put that on a gift card card. Why? It saves people from getting into your bank account and scamming the crap out of it. Even just if you're out during the uh, Christmas season and uh, you want to go Christmas shopping or Christmas shop online or the Black Friday sales that they do online, the smartest thing you can do put that on a gift card. It doesn't have to be specific to a place. It's a gift. Oh yeah, they're good. Get the one that goes from like, I would say $25 to $500 so you can eat get to choose the amount that you get to put on it, right? Smart, brilliant thinking. Um, brilliance in the thinking. Um, but you just like put that amount on the card, boom, use it. Uh, it's very smart, very simple. Um, and I'm just saying, more cost effective way, like, during this time of the year, there's a lot of online scamming going on and a lot of people trying to dupe. Um, this is like, oh my gosh. Um, um like last night when, uh, I was taking my camera back and forth. Then I found this ghosted app. Behind the app. Very careful with what's on your phone. Like, you're going back and forth. Did they take it off? Did they not want to be caught now? Because they know, no, it's still there. It's just not. The same. I changed some for a reason. Dummies. Um, anyway, this has almost been a half an hour of just chitty chat. Um, and I hope the sound quality is okay. <laughs> just, I have to take that rock out. Um, <laughs> I turned up the volume and tested the mic. In fact, I have the laptop sitting up off the desk. So the sound quality would be better. But don't, don't tell me there's too much light over here. I can't control the sun. I cannot control the sun. 
Now if I put it over here, is that going to look any better? Well, there's only one other person home with me, and I'm pretty sure you don't want to see that walk past the window. <laughs> Not really. Business folder. Um, sorry for that little shaky there. But, um, anyway, like I said, I will finish those pants. See about starting the shirt. If I get the shirt done today, hey, then I'll do a whole show and walk to you thing after I get the gray gone. Gray be gone. <laughs> yeah, we all need a can of that. <laughs> Not have water go everywhere. Jeez. I shut the lid on that. I guess it didn't really shut. I think I'm waterproof stuff. Um. Anyway, actually, they do make the cans of just like spray them. You know what? Reminds me of the Ramco guy. Set it and forget it. <laughs> or what is it? Ronco? Anyway. Set it and forget it. Did those things really work? Like that rotisserie thing? I have no idea. I never used one. I never owned one. Never owned one. <laughs> I've, I've seen one of those before. It looked too small to put a turkey in. You, you could fit a chicken in there, but you're not fitting your turkey in there. Just no fun of rope unless you bought that little turkey. It's about that big. Not very fat. About the size of tit. You know, the tuxedo cat here at the house. <laughs> it's about the size of that cat. It's not fitting in there. I'm just saying. And I wouldn't put a cat in one of those anyway because that's nasty. Um, <laughs> that is, oh my gosh. So, anyway, I, a friend of my night. And I have my night hospital the other one. Um, oh, different social media. I have my night hospital on there. Yes, they're, they're quite lovely fellows. They're quite nice. Um, and, uh, so is uh, the, uh, let's see. Rockefeller. Rockefeller's nice. They're lovely people. They're just nice to know. We have a little chitty chat with. Oh, if anybody ever listen to the music from the cars. Uh, hmm. Put a thought out for the family of their lead singer. Just saying because rest in peace. Oh. Um. Because that was pretty sad to find out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Somebody was playing golf and a cat was trying to get the ball. <laughs> I just watched that. That was funny. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to go. Stay happy. Stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys 
when I'm done with what I call circus pants. <laughs> I, I just joke about that. They're extremely comfortable. I have to see it. And I didn't get that fabric from fabric. Where I was trying to look for something similar. And they didn't. You know, I didn't go through the whole entire store. Um, I told them next time I'm there, I have to bring somebody in with me to lift the fabric. Because I was only able to do so much shopping because I have to lift the heavy bolts fabric up onto the counter and then try to keep going. And that was so stressful on my back. I used my cane and going through there. Yes. Using my cane to walk around. Um, so, which sometimes I have to use for very long walking. I have to use my cane. But it doesn't bother me. There's some children out there that have to use a cane to walk around. Nobody's perfect. Not one person is perfect. There's no such thing as normal. That is a psychological collage of getting people to think that you have to look like this or you have to be this way or this. We all are who we are. Our body sizes are the way they are for a reason. Some people may not be able to help it because of medical disorders. And that's why you can't help your body size is because of medical disorders. There are plenty of people out there like the disorder Andre the Giant had. There are still plenty of people out here that have that same disability. Their heart enlarges because of it. Their intestines get enlarged because of it. Their bones enlarge because of it. It doesn't stop ever. It just doesn't stop. It's not that they're overweight. It's just that some people are on a corticoid steroid. Those steroids are a heavy steroid. And it makes you gain weight, like prednisone. That's a heavy steroid. Are they really and seriously the pharmaceutical companies making sure that it's for your safety? I have to wonder about this sometimes. Um, but we'll do that in health talk. Um, I know you'd think this would be health talk Tuesday. Um. We'll do that in a health talk segment because sometimes I have to wonder. Now I sound like Andy Rooney. Uh, <laughs> oh. Trust me, sometimes you really have to wonder about these medications that they give because some of them will say it causes extreme weight loss. Um, and then you have people that actually feather their way to that. Because they're like, oh my god, I'm... And I want to look like... Oh, don't do that to yourself. You're born the way you're born. It doesn't matter who you are. You... Loving yourself starts here. It doesn't come from whatever you saw on social media. So think about that. So again, I'm going to do my outro. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, And as always, stay blessed. I think about my words. So I'm telling you the truth. I would never bring you anything bogus. So, hope to see you later. Bye.